Hi, welcome back to Chesterfield and I've been enjoying looking at the fish with the water being so clear and the weather being so nice and I just wondered what uh, what it was like as a close-up so I thought I'd get the camera out and go down to the uh, to the fish and have a look round. And just before all the wise and wonderful people out there that know a lot about koi and are experts I am under no illusion that any of these koi are uh, fantastic, show class, world class, anything like that whatsoever. The koi that I bought me, I bought at the time because I liked them. Simple as that. It's a very subjective uh, thing, koi keeping, and everybody has their favourites, their likes, and their dislikes. So at the time of buying these, I liked them. Some of them are my babies that I've grown on from last year, and uh, I just like the colourings and markings as such. Some are resembling to what I'd class as, um, not pedigrees, but achievers or uh, something like that, so asagis. So that's why I've got them, because I liked asagis, achievers at that time. Uh, with the weather, my favourites change each time, and I like good fish and bad fish. There's some with a few defects on there, there's a few... Uh, poorly fish or whatever but they're happy they're eating so I ain't going to worry too much. There are a couple on there that I bought from A1 Koi that are Japanese bred and imported and I bought it four, five, six inch and they've grown and matured and uh, they're quite nice. And on the flip side I've got a couple in there that I think nowadays why well, the bloody hell did I buy that? They, uh, they're what I class as ugly koi. There's, uh, there's two or three of them and if anybody wants them as pond fillers or anything like that, please, by all means, they can have them. Uh, it just makes me wonder what was going through my mind at the time. To give you the perspective or the size or scale of idea of the, the fish size, the inside dimensions of the pond are just under three metres by three metres, about two eight, two nine, something like that. And the big orange one in the middle is possibly the biggest uh, at about 60 centimetres. There's five, maybe six that are between 50 and 60 centimetres and there's probably another five or six that are around 45 to 50 centimetres. The Asagi is in the middle class, middle class, the middle size range of about 45. That big orange one there is probably 60 centimetres and then there's the there's a white one with a cloverleaf pattern on a large cloverleaf pattern on one side and a small cloverleaf pattern on the other side that also is getting close to 60 cm Talking of ugly fish, the one at the bottom coming to the right hand corner is one that I bought and I don't know why, it's probably going to be an ugly duckling and one day it might turn into something decent. It's about 10 inch long, but it just seems a bit long and thin and ugly, so, but it's happy, he's eating. Some of the little ones that you'll see there, they are last year's uh, fry that from, came from Cuttlebrook and they are between 5 and 10 inch in length. Uh, they've got a few nice markings that I liked and the little white one right in the very middle was a runt that uh, was in the IBC waiting for the new stock to arrive and the uh, keeping the filters mature. Well, I'm coming to the camera now is a big show off and he's very friendly. I'm not sure what type he is, what he looks like or anything, but he's always the first one to the camera and floating around. Very big sized and uh, very healthy.
quite a quarter to ten. Then if the light does its justice, but the lights on the sheds are on and the lights in the pond have come on. So I'll take a look and see what uh, the fish are up to. Originally the lights were on the bottom of the pond but with the current of the water and the fish and the slope of the bottom they kept sliding towards the bottom drain. Couldn't think of any way of securing them or making them not uh, a sharp object or something for the fish to bang against. I decided to uh, put them at the level of the water at the top on the uh, liner using a bit of uh, God label one shot and just angle them down in different angles and it seems to, seems to look a lot more impressive from above the pond and uh, it's sort of tidy as the cables are out of the way. Hope the video has been of interest to you seeing the fish from an underwater angle down at their level at the day and during the night. As you can see at night they're still happily swimming around checking out the camera and uh, enjoying themselves. As I mentioned it's a very subjective uh, subject keeping koi and I have some nice fish, I have some ugly fish, I have some small fish and big fish. Uh, there are a couple of poorly ones down there with uh, uh, with small treatments but like I say they're eating, they're happy and they're my fish. If you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the dislike button. Either way, pass comments down below, ask any questions you want and thanks for watching. Happy ponding. <laughs>